you for joining us on this Friday morning. Well, it is a new day for businesses working to recover from the pandemic shutdown. Yeah, today restaurants can move from 50 to 75 percent occupancy. Candy Rodriguez joins us live from Northwest Austin to share what some restaurant owners are experiencing as the state continues to slowly reopen. Good morning, Candy. Hey, Alex and Amanda, good morning. The owner and chef here at New Orleans Cajun Cafe tells me it's been tough, but they're starting to slowly see more people trickle in, but they're not necessarily coming to stay and eat inside the restaurant. The owner here, Aaron Hager, says despite the state continuing to expand the capacity for dine-in, he says for the most part, people continue to stick with takeout. He says there are a few who are happy to dine in on average about 10 people. It's a vast comparison from before the coronavirus pandemic. He's thankful for those who stopped by and hopeful the 75% capacity expansion could be more customers that decide to venture out to their local restaurants. And when they come here, they say, oh, Aaron, we're so glad to be out and see you still in business. And as time been going along, you see more and more people coming in. And, pr and pretty much, you know, it's going to be pro probably full capacity again. Clicked on the wrong script. Just a few doors down, Bull Menu is working to get things going. It's a new concept for what was once Austin's only Uzbek restaurant. Now the restaurant offers a fusion of foods from Asian to Latin cuisines. The owner tells me they had to make the change in order to survive, but they're hopeful this change will attract more customers, yet they don't expect many to come in and sit down. People who knows you before COVID and they are uh, consum customers from here, they come in and sit down, and, but the new people just take the food out and that's all. Also today, bars can expand capacity to 50%, so you can expect even more crowds of folks downtown starting tonight. Back to you. And under the governor's plan, starting on Monday, adult recreational sport games can begin with spectators. Youth sports can also start up again, except only one parent can attend and then must, of course, follow social distancing guidelines.